Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today we are going to have our rewards from the weekend league and from division rivals. We managed to finish gold one using the squad you're about to see on the screen here. So a very nice team. It worked out really well. And I know that I recorded all of last weekend's gameplay, uploaded and then didn't upload the rewards. I should have done that. That's my bad. That's on me. But this weekend was a better finish. Last weekend I only got gold three. If you watched the videos, you would know that. Um, but I finished gold one this weekend with this team here. Um, as you can see, since last time, there's been a few changes. We've changed to the four four two. We obviously included Bamba in the squad. We got Fell and Mendy. We got Ricardo Pereira, Martial, and packed in Golo Kante. Um, I have a couple of players down here on the bench. Packed Sterling. I packed Fabinho from. Ro Rewards, sorry, uh, Di Maria and Dembele as well have all joined the, well they've joined the bench. So they are in the team but they only get used as super subs really. But the team itself was great last weekend, I mean, all games, I'm about to say that all games were only played in the weekend league for Martial, Kante and Bamba I think. The rest of them have all been used on Mendy and Allison. I forgot to mention I got Allison as well. So as you can see, Martial here, 30 games, 37 goals, 17 assists for this club. So he was actually a really good player. I actually really enjoyed him. I've got a few problems with him, but there's nothing that can't be sorted. Kante obviously didn't really do much. He got four assists with the team, but he is playing a CDM role, like he is on stay back. But yeah, same with Mendy, 30 games, got a goal. Bamba, obviously coming in from last week's rewards, 30 games, 2 goals, 5 assists. So yeah, he's not doing amazing, but he's doing... To be honest, Bamba's actually only really there for the hard link to Ben Yedder because before I packed in Golo Kante, which I do have a recording of, which I wanted to upload, I had Fabinho in the squad, so I needed that link to Ben Yedder so that he was on full chem. But let's go and get into the rewards. We've actually also got our pre-order packs there, which is why I've got three in the store. And my team of the week pack that you got for pre-ordering. It was a deadline day reward, I think it was. Um, so we've got... Rank 3, I believe it was. Now, I know a lot of people go untradeable to get the most amount of packs, but I prefer tradable, just just in case you hit something good, you know? I want to be able to make sure that if I pack something that I'm not going to use, or I pack a duplicate, I don't have to miss out on potential coins. So that obviously gave us some mega packs, some jumbo packs, and now we'll get into foot champs rewards, and like I said, it was gold one, so for that we'll get two player packs from four choices and two 100k packs. I'm hoping for something good, but I've played enough FIFA and enough Fat Champs to know that that's not always the case. But as you can see there, gold one. This is my first ever gold one, and I was actually so hyped that I got it. It might not be an achievement to a lot of people, but for me it was because I clutched it on the last game. It was a Big, big moment for me now. There are 50,000 coins, 200k packs, 2 player packs, 2,000 qualification points. Let's get straight into these. Now, obviously, the team of the week's not great. I think the, the big players are Joshua Kimmich. You've got Zaha. You've got Valverde. I think you've got David Silva in there. And there's another 85 that I can't... Oh, Joe Gomez. Now, personally... None of them are really going to fit into the team. None of them will really get played over the team that I've got. So I would probably hope for maybe a Zaha that I can bring off the bench. But I'm not overly bored about the Reds this week. I'm just a lot more excited for the 100k packs, I think. So let's get into this, see what we get. Oh, Paulinho. I'll be taking Paulinho then. And a player that, like I say, I probably won't use, but It'll be good for SBCs down the line. And for the second player pick, who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Eh. 
I did say to my friends that I'd probably get Ings, but Lewis Alberto, I didn't know, he, I forgot, sorry, that he was in this team of the week. So we'll pick him up. Another big rating, which won't get used. But, I mean, they're not bad picks. An 85 and an 86. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. And now we'll just go and get straight into the packs. If I can navigate my menu properly. So what we'll do is we'll start with the pre-order packs. So the rare golds. And then we'll do it by value. So we'll go to the jumbo gold and the megas. And then up to the 100k and see if we get anything good. Now that's not even a board so we'll just skip that. Yellow and orange paint. Not two colours I would have put together. But now this is actually my first video that will be going on to the channel today or tomorrow. It's today when you see this but it will be tomorrow when it's uploaded. Yeah. Um, this is the first one I've done with a live reaction. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I don't know why it's taken me so long to do so. No board again, just skip. But it's the first time doing it, so ah, I hope I'm doing a good job. Oh, I'll duplicate Dest. Not great packs, are they? But you don't really expect much from the from the pre-order packs, do you? So yeah, so we'll go Jumbo Gold, Jumbo Premium, Mega, and then the 200Ks. I'm not expecting much out of rewards. Like I said, I've played enough FIFA to know you don't always get anything. Again, no board. For anyone that doesn't know how to spot a board, by the way, it's the gold bar, the gold bar sorry, right at the end of the tunnel. And for a walkout, it's the first light on the left-hand side of the door doesn't flash as it's opening. Just in case there's people that see this video that aren't aware of how to spot that. Now, I'm not really expecting anything from, like, the low end of the Div Rivals rewards, but you never know. Something could pop up, because last week, when I opened Div Rivals rewards, I got the Fabinho that I was talking about earlier, and I got a second duplicate Neuer out of my 50k pack, I think it was, from Gold 3 last week, from Fat Champs. Oh, we got a board this time. Well, again, Dutch, left mid. Oh, Steven Bergwijn. I've not used him. I've played against him quite a lot, so I don't. He won't be going into the squad because obviously that side of my team's French, but he could potentially be a super sub. Potentially, I'm not a hundred percent if he would be. He's obviously got good pace. Shooting's okay for me. Dribbling's obviously good. Physical's not great. But he's got good strength, good stamina. If you, he was coming on about the 60th, 70th minute of a game, tired defenders, he might make an He could be an impact sub, yeah. There's no reason he couldn't be. I'm just going to discard these guys. I should be holding on to things I know, but I need to make sure I don't open the Team of the Week pack. I'm trying to save that for a sick Team of the Week. No walkout, no board out of the mega pack. That's disappointing. Buffon's 82 rated. Man, he's been done dirty this year. For Malin, didn't know he was still playing. Same team as um, Iniesta. Now, these are my first 100k packs of FIFA 21. And I'm hoping that we're going to get something good out of it. I'm hoping. I'm having... I'm having hope, and I'm giving EA the benefit of the doubt that they will give me something good out of this. Realistically, I'm not expecting anything. Realistically, I know there's probably nothing in here. I'll be lucky to get a board out of one of them. But let's go. First 100k pack, FIFA 21. Gold 1 rewards. Was it worth it? Oh, we got a board in the first one. Italian. Centre-back. Is that, is that Benucci? Yeah, Benucci. So, 85 rated. I mean, you can't get much higher for a board, can you? 
Oh, nice! A Ben Yedder in there. I don't know if Ben Yedder sells. It looks like Ben Yedder does, in fact, sell. Probably last time up for, what's that, a bid for 54. Maybe last time up for around 60, 65. He might sell. So you'll be going straight up there. We'll keep a hold of Benucci. To be honest, I don't actually need to... Wow, that's a lot of duplicates. I don't need to be selling Ben Yedder. I could hold on to him for SPC purposes. But with me having the inform one, he's not going to get used until the SPC comes around for, that I want to put him in. Now let's do the second pack here. Walk out, walk out. Oh, a walk out. What are we getting? Come on, something sick. Portuguese. Oh, left back. Ah, oh, in from Guerrero. I find it strange that they played him at left back. I got a wee bit, a wee bit of hope there that it would have been Ronaldo. I did get that wee, that wee glimmer. I could see it. You could see my eyes sparkling, and then it just got pulled away from me so quickly. <laughs> Anything else in the pack? Oh, a Casemiro. That's nice, and a Delict. That's very, That's a decent pack, actually. He would not fit. Well, he would fit into the squad if I changed the formation. I don't know if I would use him. 91 physical, though. Wow. He'd be a nice pairing with a Fabinho. And obviously, his defending's not bad either. 88 stand tackle, 87 interceptions and slide tackle. 87 reactions. He's got good shot power on him. Shame about the finishing. He actually looks like a decent player. Does he sell for anything? So I might just... Nah, he's not going. I might just hold on to him for an SBC if I don't manage to fit him into the squad. And what about Delic? Delic's cheapest chips there. Again, good defending. He's got good strength, good jumping, good aggression. Stam's very low. But... No, I wouldn't be using them anyway, to be honest. I will pop Jorginho up and just discard the rest. So that is my gold one for Champions Rewards. Would I say it was worth it? I'm not sure, to be honest. It was fun playing the games. Like I always enjoy playing Fut Champs because we always have a good time. Like I, I do, I do I genuinely enjoy playing Fut Champs. But were the rewards worth it? Would it be better if I just stopped at gold three? I'm not sure. Um, but for me, I want I do want to try and push into elite. Cause not for the rewards, but just because I feel that I want to improve myself as a FIFA player. I've always wanted to improve myself, but we're obviously selling a nice amount of coins now. I'm going to deal with any potential transfers off camera. I don't want to bore you guys with that. Um, but the rewards, they weren't bad. I don't think anyone could stand there and say they were bad. But they obviously weren't great. But this team of the week wasn't great. Do you know, like, I think it was only... Kimmich, that was above 86 rated, so I did get decent players from it. Had it maybe been a different team of the week with maybe maybe another Ben Yedder in it, or even a Kante or a Van Dijk, although I know Van Dijk can't be in it because of his injury. Um, it might have been a different story pulling those two players, but we'll see what next weekend brings. If anyone's interested in any gameplay, I've got it all recorded and I can upload it if anyone is wanting to see anything that I did to help get Gold 1. I'm going to try again for at least Gold 1 this weekend and I'll probably do another rewards video next week because I didn't upload last week and I know I should have, like I said at the start of the video, but I'm going to try and make the rewards a weekly thing along with some other content that I'm trying to work into as well. But I've hoped you, I hope, sorry, that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for checking it out if you did. That's my reward. You can decide for yourself if you think Gold One was worth it. Personally, I'm still on the fence. It was worth it for the 100k packs. Because I, I think I got a decent 100k pack with the Inform and then the Casemiro and Delict. I thought that was a decent pack. Um, red picks, probably not so worth it. 
So I'm, I'm on the fence if it was or not. But like I said, I'm going to try and hit that again, minimum. And I will see you guys all next time. I hope you've enjoyed the video, like I said. And if you did, leave a comment. Share the video with one of your friends, maybe. And I'll catch you all later. Thank you for checking. So guys, I noticed at the end of the video there that it cut out just before I said bye and I wanted to just add this on to the end so that I could say bye. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm rude. Um, so I'll just say it again that I really appreciate if anyone took the time out of their day to click on this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, maybe a comment or maybe even share it with one of your friends. I would really appreciate any anything that you guys do. Even just clicking on it is enough, honestly. I, I would appreciate anything so much. Now, we'll try and say bye again without it cutting out here. So thank you for coming along, checking out the video. I'll see you guys all again next time, hopefully. Bye.